Hey guys, welcome back to another Ergot gameplay. Facing Camille in this one. Uh, standard primary runes, as usual. We did a, something a little different here. I went Inspiration Secondary. Well, something different than, I guess, other matchups. I usually do this into Camille lately, because I feel like the Resolve Tree just honestly doesn't feel good into her. Like, anything in the Resolve Tree just doesn't feel that good. And there's usually a lot of trading early, so those Biscuits can actually come in clutch. Usually in this lane, you want to try to use your E right as she hits you with her E. If you try to E her when she's Eing at you, then you're just going to get stunned because her E has priority. Um, another way to get E's in this lane is when she's looking to W, you can try to look for an E when she's trying to poke you with that W. Uh, another big thing in this lane, you don't want to ultimate her when she has her ulti up. You want to try to bait out her ulti if possible. Because if you go for an ulti, then she can dodge your ulti with her ulti. So ideally, you either want her to ulti, or you want to try to ulti her while she's stunned by her E. I also do like to go Titanic first in this lane. I tried out Hullbreaker once, and it didn't feel too good. I might try it again eventually, but Titanic feels very safe, very solid in this lane. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And enjoy the gameplay, guys. Diana jungle. Honestly, I'm not too scared of a Diana gank, I guess. Gonna wait till we get a better ward timing here. Should be good. I thought the cane was gonna gank, whoops. Hmm, I'm gonna have to port back in probably. Got him. I was gonna say, my minion wave is pretty big, so we actually can fight here. Nice, we got our flash too. Mm, I'm gonna go... What am I gonna go? We'll do that. I'm gonna go Titanic this game. I don't really want to do Holebreaker into Camille. I feel like building resist just doesn't feel that good into true damage. I mean, it does give health too, but... I don't know. She doesn't have any magic damage either, really. I had a bad game with Hullbreaker into Camille, so... I, it was only one game, but... I'd rather just get Titanic. I know I can win with this. Yeah, the way you want to E in this matchup as Zergot is you want to E right as the Camille hits you. If you try to E while she's flying at you and E, then her E has priority. So it'll just stun you most of the time. I don't know if it's 100% of the time, because I feel like sometimes my E goes through. But I know for sure it's stunned me before. Like, more often than not. Kind of weird how stuff works on League like that. Mm. 
That's bad. I'm surprised you didn't eat right there right away. I have no idea where their Diana is, so I'm probably just going to chill right now. There she is. Dude, she came through the alcove? Alright. I was not expecting that. At least we have TP. I had a feeling she was topside because we had a bot side play that she didn't counter gank for. And her bot side camps are up too, so. Guess I should have played under turret there. The problem with playing against Camille, like if you get ganked, man, you can't really you can't really run. Like, she just ease onto you from so far and then traps you. It's actually so easy to gank for Camille's. I have no idea, Taco. I know graphics I know graphic cards are going for a lot right now though. Like I know there's super low supply right now. Still rocking my GTX 1080. This thing has put in work, dude. I'm probably only gonna upgrade my PC if like something happens to it, which hopefully isn't for a while. At least my team's doing get off the ganks. I don't know how this guy just manages to get so much jungle help every time I play against him. It's annoying. China banned crypto mining? Wait, really? I did not hear about that. I wonder how much that's actually going to help. I feel like that'd be kind of an easy thing to get away with. Like, how do you monitor that? We can dive. We should dive. If he's confident in the 1v2. Wow. Very nice, actually. Maybe we can still dive? I'm 
just go for a plate if he doesn't want to. Goodbye. Oh nice, Dana's bot too. Dude, I feel like that cryptocurrency stuff is so sketchy. Like, I'm not even getting involved in it. You're losing a wave, buddy. Losing a cannon wave, too. Tabby and Titanic, that's a huge back. Blue Kane's going off this game, Bane's going off. Whole team is going off, honestly. I guess mid is down 20 CS, but he's still putting up some kills. If crab is up, maybe. Oh, Diana's up here. So close. Honestly, still worth. Oh, the passive. Blue Kane is so insane this season, dude. Like, I don't know why we don't see it more. I feel like it's actually the perfect champion for this season. Oh, these guys have so much healing, actually. I usually like to get anti-heal after my first item into Camille. Because once she gets that Divine Sundier, man, her healing's actually nasty. Serpent's Fang help with Camille's passive? I don't think so. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think so. If anyone in chat knows, definitely correct me on that. She's got no E. That's a freebie. Should be able to kill Diana too if she comes up. Or at least be able to live. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I really like Titanic into Camille. It just feels good. That's always felt good to me. Really? I mean, you're still dead, right? Oh god, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, good. Wow, no assist.
My W lock on wasn't quick enough, dude. I'm gonna go Gore Drinker this game. Yeah, four melee. Should be good. Oh, so it does work against Camille passive? Yeah, I guess it wouldn't really be worth. That's true. Like, her shield, you break it so fast anyway. She's got no E for like five seconds. I think if we went for a Bard ulti there, that would have been a kill. Dude, I feel like he wins this. I jinxed it. I feel like he had a chance to win that though, actually. Camille's going Ravenous Hydra. I actually haven't seen that too much. I see a lot of Titan Titanic Hydra. I feel like Divine Sundeer plus Hydra, Titanic Hydra. You're just so tanky. Dang, these team fights are spicy, dude. I need to get my level 13. Then we can start doing work. Dude, Baron hasn't even spawned yet. It's 18 to 28. Baron hasn't even spawned. There's so much kills this game. I honestly think splitting is just better here. The port was not looking too good. Probably get one kill, but getting a tier two is way more value. And we can't even Baron if I get the kill either. Mm, let's go Cleaver. I'll do Cleaver Stone Plate. That's going to be the build this game. I think we can hold off on the stone flip.
Dude, did you guys see that Gore Drinker heal? That literally put me back to full. Dude, that would have been so good if Bard didn't ulti, though. I think I timed that right to get the Diana there. Would have been like a three-man fear, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, that worked out. Not bad. Double turret as well. That's a huge gold swing. Wow, triple turret. Shelly coming in clutch. Mm, we can play for Baron. I'll get the split bot going here. I feel like we should just play for that over Dragon, honestly. I don't know, maybe my team will play for Drag. It's kind of hard to like call people off of that. They're in this bush. Dude, Gore Drinker's feeling so good this game. Wait, did I get the Camille too? Did I kill Camille there? Or was it triple from the Draven? Maybe it was from the Draven. I'm gonna reset first. I got Cleaver Spike. Get a control ward for Baron. Looking good. Oh, Vayne got the Camille. Okay, it was from the Draven then. I thought maybe Camille jumped back in and my Titanic got her or something. We got 400 healing from this thing already. It feels like way more though. Like, dude, that feels like way more. That's weird. I don't know if that's correct. Got no wave, but I guess we can get a bot here. I'm a slow crab. Wait, I'm gonna push out bot maybe. We need a wave. They're gonna be up by the time we get this wave pushed in. I guess we'll just triple in him. Oh my god. Literal one shot. The game was feeling really nice out of lane. Honestly, even the lane wasn't too bad. Just kind of a lot of Diana ganks.
The 1v1 was really, honestly, pretty good in that lane, though. Blue Kane was doing work that game. I want to see his damage. 92 LP. One more game for D1, dude. Yeah, holy moly. 40k on the blue can. 27k for me. Not bad. That sounds about right. Dude, I feel like Gordrinker definitely healed more than 400. I wonder if the tooltip is bugged. Let's see, Triumph healed 2.1k, and then... Or wait, 2.5k, I'm looking at PTA. Uh, maybe that is right, I probably healed about 2k with D-Blade. Yeah, that actually might be right. Felt really good that game still, though, even for the damage. Like, they were just stacking up in teamfights. Freed by Kane.